Wolf Betty. What's going on, folks? It is YouTube's best kept secret. I'm also the leader of the Wolfpack himself, K Spade the Prospect. I'm back today with a brand new NBA 2K17 Pro Am gameplay. I'm on the Xbox One rocking out with my crew to me. Man, this video, I kind of hit record late, man. Like, when I started this guy up, we was at the tip off. So that's why I kind of, you know, hit the ground running out here. This video right here is real special, man, and this just shows how big my heart is. This gameplay don't have much to do with me, even though I'm a pool of that midi. Knock that guy down because my midi is money most of the time. This video right here, man, is going to highlight one of my teammates. The homie Canadian Raptor snapped this game. I'm talking snap. And I knew rap could, I mean, come on, y'all. If you've been watching the videos, you know that boy Cole. But the new offense that we run out here is so San Antonio Spurs inspired, maybe even Atlanta Hawks inspired. We truly don't have a star. We don't have a go-to guy. We don't have that one guy that we come out and force the rock to. And that's a good thing because it makes it tougher for defenses to stop us. You know what I'm saying? It gets a little tough sometimes because you know you can score more than 10 points a game. But on this particular night, you may only get 10. The next night, you may go out for 40. It just goes like that. That's the way our offense runs. We like it. We feel like it makes us tougher to stop. But this game right here was definitely, it was Rap's day. Like, Rap couldn't miss. And I don't know what was up with this matchup. I, I don't know what this team was doing, but it, it's like they couldn't do nothing. They couldn't stop the fella. So enough of that chit-chat. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. We already in the gameplay, but y'all know what I mean. Let's get to it. So look, the game started off competitive, kind of does, and then we started to take off. You see they already blew the whistle, got a timeout, said, which one of y'all supposed to be guarding that damn Canadian dude over there? Which one of y'all supposed to be guarding him? He kind of getting loose. Every once in a while in this gameplay, man, we will take the scoring away from rap just to confuse this team for a little minute. We go right back to it. It's crazy. It's like they had the memory of Dory the Fish in Finding Nemo. Like they would guard him one play, we would go away from him the next play, and they would forget. They would forget all about him. We would go right back to him the next play, and he would tear their ass up again. Boss, he was on fire. So I told Rap when this game was happening, I said, bro, I'm going to upload this game. Because this is the, every once in a while, I like to show these games. Now, I think I got one where, I don't know, don't get me to lie. I, I don't want to lie. But I got one where I kind of was going wheels. This gameplay right here, I don't know if you guys peeped in the beginning, but I'm matched up with a lockdown defender. Now, if you play a lockdown defender who know what he doing and you a sharpshooter, he really can make your day hell shot. I hate it had to be you, my guy. I hate it had to be you. The lockdown defender had me just turning the ball over. I couldn't get right. I put the ball on the court, but it would just come by me and say, you don't want that. And, and I wouldn't have to dribble no more. I would either dribble out of bounds or he would just take it from me. It was ugly. But once again, man, the beauty of this squad right here is the ball don't really have to come to me. I don't have to touch the rock, really. Everybody on this team can hoop. Everybody can ball. Everybody's capable of going out here having a big day. So it just worked out good. Now, hold on now. I will let y'all know. It was some shots I was taking. Not all of them was good. Way to get that shooter's roll right there. But I was going to take my shots. You got to take shots because you want to keep the defense honest. I don't want them to just know every time we get the rock is going to rap. But rap, buddy, I don't know what you was on this day, bruh. But you was out of your mind. Still, playing smart. He know he on fire. He probably could have pulled that. Made the extra pass. Shaq in the paint with them damn boots. Finishing in the paint. This team is still kind of right here, though. Probably because of my turnovers. That's great defense or a bad shot. Whichever way you want to slice it. Great defense. Leads to easy offense. Styles going to step back on him. Oh, Styles, if you had to pull that one. If you had to pull that one, bruh. So here we go with a double-digit lead. Three minutes before the half. Still trying to play balance ball, even though we know it's Raps day. It's this early in the game, and we already know, like, this is Raps day. So if we get in a situation, you know, we're going to break glass in case of an emergency. We're going to get a ball to the Canadian guy. He got it this game. We kind of went through a rep right here in the second quarter. Kind of seemed like we was getting some good looks. Couldn't get the shots to fall. These are the struggles in the game that leads to the runs. I've been telling y'all, I don't know if it's computer generated or what, but the runs always seem to happen. You just have to withstand it. You're going to go through that frustrating period in the game where nothing's going to go your way. The shots ain't falling. The other team is getting all of the bounces. Trust me, it happens. When you're getting offensive three seconds in the paint and all this crazy stuff, 
And this is where you gotta keep your you gotta keep your head because this stuff is frustrating. You be like, man, what is going on? But if you get all crazy and start to panic, that's when the run happens. Instead, right here, we say, man, get the ball to rap. Let rap do what rap is doing out here. So we got them in a nice situation. All we gotta do is continue to score. We ain't gotta score every possession, but if we continue to score, it really don't matter what they gonna do. We're gonna keep this little bit of distance between their team and our team. At least that's what I'm thinking. So we should be good. But this little struggle phase we in, man, it would last damn near the entire second quarter. Like we just couldn't get right. Like it didn't matter what, look at this right here. I tried to pass out of a shot. Everything we was doing in the second was going just wrong. Now the good news is everything was going wrong for us and they never did close the gap. They never did close the gap. So I mean, of course that's gonna give you a bit of a confidence boost and we feel like if we just fight through it, we're gonna be all right. Defensively, we tried, man, 11, what is he? Oh yeah, he had to let the finisher. 11 was, he had to bounce, I see you fam. So here they go, less than a minute in the half, man. These guys kinda close the gap, what we do, we go back to rap. They get close, we give it to Rap, Rap pulls off. So at the end of the first half, we got the lead. Rap is the player of the half, of course. The thing that's crazy is we're only shooting 52%, so we're not shooting great. Like, that's not great. And I think it's because of that second quarter. The first quarter, everything was going well. Second quarter, not much went right other than Canadian Raptor. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, nothing else went right. Second half, you're going to expect these dudes to come out and try to make a run. I almost expect them to come out and shoot threes. That's what people do when they down. And that might actually favor us. Now, I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't think they made a three at all in the first half. So I'm not saying they're not a great perimeter shooting team. But I don't think they're a great perimeter shooting team. If they was, they would at least have some threes at the half. Threes is, I mean, that's a that's a big part of it. So they seem to be a team that want to attack the basket. 11 already proved to us what he's about. He out here catching bodies and everything. And that's fine. But if you're going to match our threes with twos, Mm, you know, you ain't got to be great at math to see where this is going. You're going to have to get some threes at some point. So here they come. Now they pulling threes. It don't look like it's a strong point. They missing that one. We pushing. We got numbers. Rap is set up again. Pulling and cashing. Who the hell is supposed to be guarding this guy? Like at some point, I was kind of jealous. I'm like, now look, man. Y'all ain't even going to guard my dude. Like, what y'all trying to say? Like, what are y'all trying to say? They miss, we come back and push the tempo. I'm gonna blow right by somebody. I'm catching a body myself. Let's go. Y'all know I like the dunk. I get I get one of those like once a week. I mean, that's the disadvantage of being a sharpshooter. If I want to dunk more, I need to get me another playstyle. Look at Shaq trying to get some get back. I see you, fam. I see you. Third quarter, man, you can see what happened once the bucket started to go in. You know what I'm saying? Look at the score. We talking about a seven, eight point lead at one point. We damn near got them by 20. They still attacking, they still been aggressive for all their points coming from inside the perimeter. I just don't feel like that's the formula, you know? I don't. Now, I'm not saying ain't nothing wrong with having a team that that's your formula. But if you're not going to be a good three-point shooting team, then you got to be great at defending the three-point so your opponents can't use that against you. And they didn't really do a good job of stopping. Well, they, they stopped me. But they ain't stopped rap. Like, rap the dude out here glowed up just moving around, pulling and cashing on him. Five seconds on the shot clock right here. I'm going to swing it over to Shaq. I really probably should have got it over to Canadian Raptor, but Shaq did the right thing. Smart pass, one extra pass in the paint. Beast gonna finish those 95% of the time. 16 point lead here with a minute left to go in the third quarter. All momentum belongs to TMM. We own it. We got a monopoly on it. Matter of fact, that should have been a steal. 11 with the pull up. Okay. I ain't know he even had to pull up. I ain't think he could do nothing but dunk. So, okay. Still inside the perimeter though, but I see him. So here we go. If we finish this quarter strong, man, it just might be goofy. Look, man, they still ain't really guarding this guy. You know it's rap day. Rap got the whistle right there. I was about to say, if that falls, you know it's his day. Because that, that ain't really what we should be doing out here. Great defense in the paint, man. The guy tried to go up over two bigs. That's probably not going to go your way. I'm in the corner. Rainmaker, Irish Spring, green on my shot meter. Hashtag soap bar. The only reason why I was able to get that look is because of the great defense we played on the other end. Styles, that should have been your steal, bruh. They played you. Still, we got great defense. Still, I'm running out. Still, I'm a... 
I should have passed that. My bad, my bad, my bad. And I was feeling myself, man. I don't know. I don't know. Even though if you look at my meter, man, it's a full meter. The guy just ain't turned green. They do that to me a lot. Anyway, off the fast break, man, both shooters went to the corners. They actually defended that well, but wrapping the zone right now. Even though he was defended, he just stepped around the defender, got in his comfort zone, pulled a midi, cashed it. I think that man was glowed up for the entire game. Like, he had that grand badge on like a Boy Scout. It was some new badge that he just had it pinned to his shirt. It would never go away. Fourth quarter, man, we got him pretty much in the COVID clutch, when y'all say. But we're going to go ahead and show it out. We're going to run through the tape show y'all exactly how you finish when you feel like you're playing strong defense 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 we frustrating them out here we making them take crazy shots the great defense is leading the easy offense look at that boy styles man try to go james harden with the euro right there man you ain't no james harden you ain't no james Harden. two minutes left in the game everybody glowed up out here except for me and shaq shaq can't be glowed up because shaq don't have no grand badge no shade no shade I ain't, I ain't uh, glowed up because this lockdown defender kind of kind of frustrating you, boy. I'm really not having that great of a game, to be honest with you. Too many turnovers, not shooting great, but not necessarily hurting my team. I'm playing smart, though. Even some of the misses that I got, they're pretty, they pretty good misses. Like this one here. If I'd have got that early, if that first pass had came to me, I'd have pulled that and cashed that. I was smart enough to pass out of it. A lot of times I go up with that shot knowing I shouldn't. When we get out of here with the dub, I think y'all pretty much knew from the early part of this video how it was going to end. What I want y'all to see is just how crazy Rap went in this game. Rap, this is definitely one of your crowning moments. Not because you scored a lot, but because you scored a lot, you was efficient as hell. And you got most of your points from beyond the arc. Crazy game. Anyway, folks, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. You did do me a favor. Leave a like, bro. How hard is that? Like, for real. Ask yourself. Is it hard to leave a like? It's not. And if you had not already done so, man, hit subscribe so you can catch up on all these videos. I'm out to the next one, y'all. Peace.